Hello everybody, Bleach here, and welcome to a new, uh, Let's Play here. Today I'm gonna be bringing you that Phoenix Wright Ace. Man the freaking attorney! New game, please. See, I already... Got through... Some of the chapters, but let's go ahead and start with that, um... That chapter one. August 3rd, District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. Alright guys, so, welcome to my, um, new Let's Play here. And the game is probably a little louder than me, but, oh well. Boy, am I nervous. And this is gonna be a um, very interesting game that I really enjoy doing. And this is gonna be fun. It's a really fun game, it's... I, I've been thinking about playing this for a really long time, but just never, just never played it. Okay, the game is a little too loud. Alright. So this is our first case as Phoenix Rice, Ace Attorney. And I decided to record both screens so you can see the options that I pick and see what's going to happen. And depending on which option you pick and how you present the case, is it going to make it break you? So it's very, um, it's very detailed like that. I like this game a lot. It definitely has a law and order feel, and I just enjoy that so much. So Phoenix Rice talked to his boss right there, and that's May, May Faye. I want to help out any way I can. And so he's going to be defending his buddy here who's been um, convicted of a murder. Not convicted. He's been um, accused of a murder. Not convicted. If he was convicted, he wouldn't be in this spot. <laughs> and he's kind of, um, you know, he's flipping out over there. He's flipping out. And he sounds like, yeah, he, he sounds like he wants to, um, he wants to eat the bullet. But you can't eat the bullet, man. You didn't do it. So this game is kind of... It got like a Lord and Order slash James Patterson feel. If you ever read a James Patterson book, he actually tells you who the killer is and the people that's doing all the killings right in the beginning of the book. Like the first... The first chapter. Not even chapters. Like the... What's it called? Prologue? He tells you who does it, and this game is kind of, it kind of has that feel. Because you, you can tell that he didn't do it, but we have to prove that he didn't do it. So it definitely has that, um, that amazing feel to it. That James Patterson, if you ever read a James Patterson book, I suggest reading some of his books. Because the man is a freaking genius, he's a beast. And here's the story. It's a fairly simple one. Yes, it is. Damn, she bleeding. She was killing her apartment. All right. Yeah, they. Of course, they will arrest the. Um, you know, if anybody knows anything, they will. Well, they will question the um person that they're dating. Especially when it comes to like a female that was murdered and then she probably dumped her boyfriend and and all that jazz. Her turn. 
Hope you didn't hear Family Guy in the background. <laughs> Probably did. I don't know. But yeah, this is pretty much this. This game is it's, this game is just good. I I really like it, and I'm kind of glad I'm doing it. I'm gonna be recording this and doing and then doing another new game. I'm getting back into the habit of recording, trying to. District Court. Court number two. Court room number two. Alright, here we go. So, court is in section now, baby. And of course, we are the defense. Come on, Phoenix. Don't, don't, don't check it out on me here, man. Um, this is his first trial, but not mine. I, I, I know the gist of what to do. And I, I'm, I'm not a pro, but I think I know what I gotta do. And the judge just landed out on the table for you. Your client. Fate is in your hands. So, on this part, he's gonna, they're gonna basically test you on if you are paying attention to what the, the, uh, case is all about and he's he just he's a little shaken up of course his name is Larry correct okay next question this is a murder trial. Tell me, what is the victim's name? I know the victim's name, but it's gonna teach you how to um, figure out the victim's name. And of course, poor Phoenix, he forgets the he just forgets the name. I don't even know the name of the victim. Oh, Phoenix. He just forgot temporarily. <laughs> and Mage is like, come on, man. Or Maya. Or May. I, I, don't, I don't know. Just click on the... Alright, so it tells you how to... Um, it tells you how to click on this. This, will, this is very important. You need to remember this. Because this holds evidence and profiles and everything. And you can tell that her name is Sydney. And then you go to profiles, you can go and look at the name, and her name is Sydney Stone. This is the victim. Who is the victim in this case? The victim of this case, sir, is Cindy Stone. Yes. What was the cause of death? Alright, so... So, I'm going to play like I don't even know what the cause of death is. And so, you go to your, um, you go to the record here, of course. You look at the autopsy report. Cause of death. Lost a trauma due to a blunt, due to blood trauma. So, basically, you will just hit with a blunt object. Because, other than that, she can't be poisoned if she was hit with a blunt object, of course. And I need you to see the other option, so... <laughs> Alright, here we go. This is gonna get... So, he's gonna, like, give us the evidence here. Yes! The statue! The thinker! That was the, um... It's added to our evidence. Thank you. Yep. Remember that, guys. You have to remember that because that that comes in freaking handy. It really does. And you know what? I'm gonna cut the video here because I don't want to really break it in, break up the um, the flow of how things are gonna go from this point on because it's gonna get 
epic. So this was just a starter. When I come back, we're going to go ahead and um do some work. This has been Bleach. Peace.